The following program is sponsored by Best Friends Animal Society. You want to see a dog smile? You want to see a cat dance with joy? Do you want to see the whole world become a better place? Come with me to a spot where homeless and abandoned pets all get a new home. Where broken bodies and broken spirits are healed and where kindness to animals is in a lot of ways making a better world for all of us. Could you imagine a world without animals? I've never seen a dog in a bad mood. <laughs> I would not date a guy who's not good to animals. I mean, are you kidding me? Besides being a regular nut, I'm an animal nut. <laughs> if you love an animal, then you need to be connected to best friends. Someday, because of best friends, uh, all animals will have a home and the shelters won't be killing animals. We had this idea that all of the cats and dogs and the horses and birds and all the animals who come here uh, wake up the next day and say, wow, I just came to heaven. I'm Lisa Edelstein, and I'm here at America's largest refuge for abandoned animals, about 2,000 of them on any given day. This is Best Friends Animal Sanctuary. Soldier is just like any other Labrador retriever. He loves attention. Yeah. Well, there is one difference. Soldier was born with only three legs. Oh, my goodness. He was originally found at a firing range, and he was uh, chained up there. Somebody had abandoned him. He obviously had been born uh, with one leg, there's just a stump, and then the other leg is deformed. <laughs> Soldier had been taken to an animal shelter and would have been put down, but he was rescued just in time by best friends. Soldier's truly one in a million, definitely. I mean, there isn't a stronger spirit than this guy. If best friends had not been here for Soldier, um, I think he would be, he would be gone. At best friends, caring for animals with special physical problems is nothing new, but Soldier's condition was extreme. Soldier needed rehabilitation. He had to lose weight and build muscle. With the specialized equipment at the Sanctuary's fitness center, he got that therapy. Hydrotherapy is nice because it supports them. Um, they don't have to use all their weight. It's easier for them to move. A lot of the dogs like it, and it's a more controlled environment. You know, he certainly has his problems, but they're not insurmountable. Soldier's life began with struggle with suffering and abandonment. In too many cases, a story like his would have ended in the death of a bright and warm-hearted dog. Instead, after months of daily therapy at Best Friends, he wasn't just better. He was ready for a new home and a whole new purpose in life. He was adopted by Dr. Colleen Copeland. She's a child psychiatrist who helps kids overcome severe emotional problems. Now, Soldier's not just a pet, He's become an important part of her therapy team. Christy at Best Friends saw in Soldier that this dog had some special talent and special purpose. The decision sounds clear now. Yeah. Dr. Copeland's patients just love Soldier, and they've learned a lot from him. We both have had bad past, bad experiences. He has this certain presence. It's, it's kind of like, um, just an understanding, loving, sort of, you know, he's sitting next to you, he licks your hand. It just makes me comfortable, really. Soldier's really good at doing that. He comes up and wags his tail and makes me feel like nothing's wrong and really makes my day. So he's an asset and he's been an inspiration to my patients. Come on. Here we go. Okay, let's go. Through helping animals, we show compassion. We, we show that animals have dignity. And so by spreading kindness with animals, hopefully we can also spread kindness with people. The thing that's really unique about Best Trends, of course, is the animals. I mean, there are uh, 2,000 of them here in this glorious, beautiful sanctuary on any given day who all have very special needs. When they come here, 
they have all been abused and abandoned and uh, been in really terrible circumstances. And healing them and getting them out to good new homes is what Best Friends is all about. It's part of the whole idea that kindness to animals, to all animals, helps build a better world for all of us. Cody has the gift of gab. I love you. Some would say he's the perfect host. Did you get your orange juice? <laughs> None for me, thanks. Cody's one of the smartest types of parrots in African gray. He's got over 150 phrases down pat. Cool, baby. <laughs> he came to best friends when his person, an elderly lady, couldn't care for him anymore. They'd been together 16 years, and she was heartbroken when our bird expert, Rick, met them. What are they doing? I went there to pick up Cody, and when I met her at the door, she started crying because she wasn't just giving up a bird, she was giving up a family member. You want some orange juice? African gray parrots can live to be 60 or more, and Cody's only in his teens. So with his special talent for making everybody smile, Cody's got a long way to go, and a lot more people yet to charm. He's also charming a lot of his new bird friends here. Something that really attracted me to best friends is it's not just about warehousing them, it's about giving their other needs. It's really a wonderful place to work. What's it doing? Cody also goes with best friends to visit kids and grown-ups and teach them about birds, how to care for them, and a few of the ways they can give us humans something good to talk about. They give us so much, dogs, cats, and all our pets, but so many are being put to death just for being homeless. Millions are killed every year. You can help change all that become a Best Friends Guardian Angel by giving $20 a month. You'll be helping feed and care for abandoned, abused, sick, and injured animals. And you'll help those pets find happy homes, too. Just pick up the phone or go online right now. Best Friends is the best place I know to, 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 to send your money if you want to help animals of all kinds. One day, no more homeless pets. One day, no more pets being euthanized, you know just breaks my heart. This idea is spreading that no kill is possible and more and more shelters in the country are taking that on and believing that it works. You go to the adoption and hundreds of animals are adopted in a day. Who can say that? Who can do that? They can. You'll be making a big difference. With your help, thousands of sweet, playful, loving animals get a second chance at life. Your gift of $20 each month is a promise that they'll get food, shelter, medical care, even surgeries, whatever they need. And when disasters strike, hurricanes, earthquakes, any emergency, you'll help Best Friends be there to save animals' lives. There's so much work that guardian angels make possible. Spay-neuter clinics, training for rescuers, life-saving surgeries, rehab of all kinds. You'll also see your generosity at work. Every month you'll get the photo and story of an animal you're helping. And you'll get six issues, a year's subscription to Best Friends Magazine, number one among animal lovers. The magazine is very cool. I like the stories, I like the pictures, uh, and it gives a lot of information. You can jump on the website, take a look at how it's growing there. You see these animals and hear their stories, and it's just, it's really wonderful. If you have passion for dogs or cats or whatever, then it really should go straight to best friends. You get back the satisfaction that you're part of an amazing organization that makes a big dent. There's so much bad news on TV and the radio every day, but here's something that we can really all feel good about because uh, doing good for the animals is something that brings us all together. And I think that matters very much in the times that we live in today. Guardian angels like you help us make a lifetime commitment to every animal we save. That means a new home and family, or a place here at the sanctuary, forever. Your gift of $20 a month will make miracles possible. Any amount will help. Have your credit card ready and call now, or go online and become a guardian angel. Give these big-hearted souls lives of hope and love today. After Hurricane Katrina, hundreds of cats were rescued by best friends. 
Jazz was found with his eyes crested shut from a severe infection. He was almost blind. But Jazz had managed to somehow fend for himself, even though he was in a lot of pain. Jazz is a big, burly cat who has entropion, which means his eyelids kind of are a little bit long and kind of curl under, so the hairs rub against his eyes, and it leads to eye infections. And actually with him, his was so severe that you could barely see his eyes, so it probably definitely impaired his vision. There was only one way to correct Jazz's problem and give him back full eyesight. We cut two little slits above his eye and below his eye, took out some skin and sutured it back together. You can open his eyes, you can see the world, you can see his eyes. It's basically plastic surgery for cats. To complicate matters, Jazz has feline leukemia and the feline immunodeficiency virus, or FIV. It means you have to be a little bit more careful with infections that they get because they, they don't have a strong immune system, but they can definitely live long, healthy, happy lives. Jazz was lucky to make it to best friends. At some shelters, strays that test positive for FIV or leukemia are often put down. But best friends will look after Jazz for the rest of his life. There's a special building dedicated to caring for about 50 cats with leukemia. They live and play as happily and normally as other cats, ready to be adopted into single cat homes or homes with other FIV positive cats, or just have a great life right here. He's a very happy, laid back, gentle guy, and I think he'd be happy living here, but I think he'd be even happier being someone's lap cat, because he just loves to sit in your lap and be petted. So for Jazz, the sweet tabby cat full of New Orleans soul, not even a hurricane could stop him. I know a cat named Jazz. He's a jazz cat, and I'm his kitten. Best in show from where I'm sitting. He's neat, he's all reap. Tom's around town. Can you believe somebody didn't want this little guy? Well, this cutie doesn't have to worry now. Best Friends makes a lifetime commitment to every animal. Most get wonderful new homes and families, and Best Friends follows up on every adoption to ensure that they're well taken care of. But others are too old, too sick, or too damaged by abuse to be easily adoptable. Their home is here, forever. Best Friends has been reaching out with kindness since the early 1980s. Back then, there were over 17 million animals a year being killed in shelters. Now that number is down to around 4 million, but it's still way too many. There is no reason even one animal should pay with her life just for being homeless. That's why it's so important that you pick up the phone or go online to help save the lives of these beautiful spirits. Be their guardian angel and call now. Boomhauer came to Best Friends by accident a car accident. Brand new animal shelter had opened and found a box with this little guy in it and a note on top that said, I've been hit by a car, please help me. He had some major head trauma he could not stand. I think they were considering euthanasia with him because of the costs involved with um, maintaining his care and with dogs that are, have head trauma, it takes a long time for them to get better, weeks to, to even months of time. When he first came, he couldn't walk at all and he could only stand if I held him up and, and kind of supported him. With time, he's gotten so much better and we couldn't have done that here without Best Friends being what it is, a, a no-kill shelter that's supported tremendously by donations from the public and people that help us help these guys. He can now walk a straight line, run, play, interact, almost like a normal dog. I think he'll probably always have the head tilt, which sometimes I think makes it a little endearing. I think he's gonna live a long time and be happy, and he just needed the chance to do that. Good boy. There's a good How good are you at math? Well, consider the playful bunny rabbits, 
These little bouncing fur balls are just a little too good at multiplication. This was the great bunny rescue. We had a call from a woman in Reno and she said she was having a little trouble with bunnies, that she had too many of them, and we thought she'd said 80. Then she said she had 800, and it actually turned out that there were 1,600 bunnies in her backyard, a small backyard, and she lived in a the trailer there. So we went in there and got all of the rabbits out, which took some time, built a special rabbit rescue ranch outside of town for them. Veterinarians by the dozens uh, came in to help take care of the rabbits, look after them, get them all spayed and neutered, very important, because at that time there were up to 40 or 50 being born every day. And the last of them have just gone off to good new homes all around the country. We just had hundreds and hundreds of people who offered to take in uh, rabbits, and we're just delighted. Mission accomplished. It was one of the worst cases that the staff at Best Friends had ever seen. She came in about a month ago basically dying. She had huge wounds covering about 25% of her body, filled with maggots. Maggie, an abandoned young Siamese, had been found trying to care for her five newborn kittens. She was severely injured and barely alive. She was dehydrated. Her extremities were swelling up. She, she wasn't able to stand or, or eat or drink. She wouldn't have made it another day. The staff at Best Friends Animal Sanctuary went to work immediately to try and save Maggie's life. She let her skitter cleaned up, and for a few days, all we could do was just, you know, clean the wound and uh, hand feed her because she couldn't eat. This is a cat that wanted to live. As Maggie battled to stay alive, her kittens were also at grave risk. The staff knew that the timing was critical and that they had to be cared for 24 hours a day if they were to survive. They would have most certainly died because she was so sick. And um, nobody would have known they were over here. <laughs> and, now, and they all deserve a chance. And so we give them that chance as much as we can, and we do whatever we have to do. The staff felt that they could give them that chance, but Maggie wasn't out of danger yet. We pulled the skin basically from here and here to go down, and under here, you can't even see the scar at all, but she had a scar going down there. And the maggots are sort of going down here and here, but she's healed up completely beautifully well. One month later, Maggie and her kittens are out of danger and ready for adoption into a nice, loving home. She still bears the scars of her ordeal, but soon even those will be a distant memory. Without the guardian angels and the, and the donors, um, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to do this. I think she'll make a wonderful cat. She has a lot of personality, and you know she's a survivor. That's excellent. Dogs love coming here to Towers Run Training Center to play on the agility course. Plus, this is an important learning place for dogs who are afraid of stairs or who won't go through a doorway because they used to get punished for it. Best Friends just thinks of everything. They are saving animals everywhere with a nationwide network of no-kill shelters, rescue groups, and friends. Best Friends Rapid Response Team saved over 6,000 animals after Hurricane Katrina. Whatever the emergency, large or small, they are ready to go. The Veterinarian Surgical Center is a world-class training ground for veterinarians and caregivers here. Everything Best Friends learns, and it's a lot. They share with other animal rescuers and animal lovers. They even have a great program for kids. So, when you call to be a guardian angel, you are helping to save animals in your neighborhood and across the country. Please call right now. One of the really inspiring things you see at Best Friends is how much animals touch the lives of people. Miss Laura is a sweet southern belle of a dog who found a kindred spirit in a boy named Kyle. But Laura almost didn't make it. A lady came in with Laura and she had been driving along the river road and saw a little dog laying under a tree and she 
just walked over to her and then realized that she couldn't move her back legs. So she picked her up and brought her into the hospital. Her back was broken, there was no doubt, and uh, she really did not have any use in her legs. The local vet on call felt there was no choice but to put her down. Patty just couldn't let that happen. Maybe it was meant to be. She had just accepted a new position at Best Friends. So after stabilizing Laura, she drove for three days across the country to take Laura to get help at the sanctuary in Utah. There's no way to really know what happened other than the fact that somehow she broke her back. And by the time she was found, it was not repairable. I mean, and the dog is amazing how energetic and how much fight she has in her. Laura's already zooming around on a set of wheels, as happy as any other dog. In fact, she's unstoppable and inspirational. Across the country in Florida, Laura's incredible story caught the attention of a 13-year-old boy named Kyle. Kyle has cerebral palsy, and he understands Laura's challenges like few people can. Just from hearing the description of Laura, I, I just love dogs so much that it, it was hard for me to comprehend that they, that they would put down such a, a beautiful being. For months, Kyle followed Laura's progress and dreamed of meeting her. He wanted to see her, and I said, you know, we can make that possible. Let's, let's get it together. And the squeal he made on the phone when he found out he was headed to Best Friends. Today is that special day. Kyle is about to meet Laura face to face for the first time. I don't want my I think she's gonna give me a big wet kiss. Come see baby doll. Look. <laughs> she has never slowed down for a second. She has exhibited a triumph over her disability from the very beginning. She just goes and goes. She has no problems at all. It's amazing. I think it's amazing for Laura to have the full card. <laughs> Best Friends is the kind of place for miracles of all kinds. Today, it's the miracle of a boy and a dog finding a special connection. They were going off together and just enjoying the day and the beauty. They were just rolling forward at like two good old friends that had been friends for a lifetime. One day, Laura will find a new home and a new adopted family. But this day was a special one, spent with a new best friend. I'd like to thank everybody at Best Friends for putting this together, taking care of Laura, and so many other great animals. Wow. That's all I have to say. He's my buddy, and I love that buddy. Yes, I love my buddy. How I love that buddy. Oh, I love my buddy. Yes, I love that dog. They give us so much, dogs, cats, and all our pets. But so many are being put to death just for being homeless. Millions are killed every year. You can help change all that. Become a Best Friends Guardian Angel by giving $20 a month. You'll be helping feed and care for abandoned, abused, sick, and injured animals. And you'll help those pets find happy homes, too. Just pick up the phone or go online right now. To have approximately four million animals put to sleep each year 
is absolutely an atrocity. How could you take a, a healthy animal and, you know, kill them? One day, there won't be any homeless pets. There is, I don't think, another place in our country where animals are so loved and so taken care of. You'll be making a big difference. With your help, thousands of sweet, playful, loving animals get a second chance at life. Your gift of $20 each month is a promise that they'll get food, shelter, medical care, even surgeries, whatever they need. And when disasters strike, hurricanes, earthquakes, any emergency, you'll help best friends be there to save animals' lives. There's so much work that guardian angels make possible. Spay-neuter clinics, training for rescuers, life-saving surgeries, rehab of all kinds. You'll also see your generosity at work. Every month you'll get the photo and story of an animal you're helping. And you'll get six issues, a year's subscription to Best Friends Magazine, number one among animal lovers. I truly believe that by taking care of the animals, being completely devoted to them, that is at least my way of serving God. And if you love an animal, then you need to be connected to Best Friends. I feel blessed to be able to help Best Friends in, uh, in some small way. We're very happy that we can guarantee that every dollar that comes in out of this uh, TV program, in fact, will go to care for the animals coming into the sanctuary or in our rescue and adoption programs around the country. And that means you're making a really big difference. Guardian angels like you help us make a lifetime commitment to every animal we save. That means a new home and family or a place here at the sanctuary forever. Your gift of $20 a month will make miracles possible. Any amount will help. Have your credit card ready and call now or go online and become a guardian angel. Give these big hearted souls lives of hope and love today. You never know that Link here has feline leukemia. With a little special care, his condition doesn't seem to bother him one bit. He certainly doesn't complain, although he does think he's king of the place, and who am I to argue? What is definitely clear, he has got a lot of love to give for a long time to come, and that's a great example for all of us two-legged types. <laughs> you know, it's one thing to talk about kindness. It is another thing to actually do something. Best Friends is leading the way, creating spay, neuter, and adoption programs, and helping all of us share kindness with all creatures. Keep watching. Meet Quincy, a cute little guy with a big problem. He came to Best Friends with one of his paws bent back 90 degrees. Nobody thought he'd ever be able to walk normally, let alone run and play like other dogs. We decided that he would be a good candidate and a good puppy to come into Best Friends because without coming here and without getting that limb treated, the prognosis for him using it was almost nil. In fact, the only other option would have been amputation and you know we try to avoid that if possible. Dr. Patty's unique solution involved therapy, special splints, and constant stretching. And Quincy's therapist, Susan, like so many people at Best Friends, took him home to give him extra attention. I decided I'd foster him because it's easier. We were, I was doing physical therapy of just trying to massage his leg and then stretch it a little bit so that they could splint it. And it didn't slow him down. In fact, I think it made him terrorize through the house much faster than, than he would have without it. Really, he's made remarkable recovery. Within a week, I saw improvement where that limb was like this and I couldn't move it at all to the point where I got it to be straight. And now he's, he's pretty much completely normal on that leg. And that's just about after three weeks of care. His limp is not near as noticeable. And it's just building up all the muscles now in his leg and his shoulder. He runs and plays and digs. <laughs> We have a 100-pound dog at home that has kind of taken him under his wing. And I think that my husband and my kids are going to, you know, have a really hard time letting him go, but it'll give us the opportunity to be able to do it again. I'm just so very happy we could help this dog, but without support from best friends and the people that support us, we wouldn't have been able to do that. He's a beautiful puppy. He's going to make somebody very, very happy and probably get in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Oh, thank you. When you're here, you can feel it. 
Some say the ancient Anasazi people who lived here in Angel Canyon saw this as a sacred healing place. Now it's where abused and abandoned cats and dogs and other animals from all over the country get a second chance at life. If you've just joined us, I'm Lisa Edelstein. This is Turbo, and we are at Best Friends Animal Sanctuary in southern Utah. On any given day, this is home to around 2,000 animals who survived every kind of adversity. Now they're well cared for and well loved. They come from everywhere to find new homes, thank you, and new families. Come on, they're waiting for you. Meet Roo, the miracle cat. He was found lying in a field, his front legs completely severed. In fact, it was amazing he was still alive. But then, Roo is a pretty amazing cat. It was a clean cut, whether it was due to being attacked by another animal, a trap, a lawnmower. Two stumps that at the end were basically a, a large infection on his skin. He was very bad off. I mean, he probably would have died within 12 to 24 hours had we not picked him up. For the first couple of days, it was touch and go. But to the surprise of everybody but Rue, he began to pull through. He was fighting to live. We gave him some pain medication, some antibiotics, and he was mad about it, which was good. It showed that you know he had some spunk left in him. We closed up over the cut ends of his legs. We just sutured it up. And within a couple weeks, he was a normal cat, able to get around quite well on two legs, eating fine, drinking fine, sitting up. He did a, like a little kangaroo impression. That's how we got his name, Roo. And did great. Come on. Come on, buddy. His injuries, I mean, to see it for the first time, it was really frightening. But he had a lot of energy and such a will. And I knew he was going to make it. He just wanted to play and have fun. And even when we first took him home and he was all bandaged up, I mean, he just wanted to play. He bonded with a lot of my cats, uh, so they became friends and all, and had a girlfriend with one, one of the other cats we had adopted from the sanctuary. Despite his challenges, he found a way to do things. He didn't want to be babied or felt sorry for. You know, he, he wanted to be like any other cat. As far as Rue is concerned, he is just like any other cat, except that he has a fan club, thanks to the Best Friends website. There was like a record number of applications that came in for him. We were sad that we couldn't keep him, but he got a great home, a really, really yeah, great home. a really great home. Come get that food. Come on. Boy. Come on, handsome. Come on, boy. Handsome. Adam, boy. So he's really <laughs> comfortable with himself. I think he can see what he can do. He's just a very special, strong, Loving animals, very loving. If he wouldn't have had the treatment through best friends, obviously he wouldn't have made it. And if he was anywhere else, I'm thinking that somebody may have just put him to sleep just because they didn't think this animal would have a life. Best friends can come in lots of shapes and sizes That's why there are always such wonderful surprises Yeah, they're not in it for the food, not in it for the money Just give their chin a scratch, let them sleep where it's sunny Cause orange cats make the very best friends Glinda was found lying on the side of the road in the desert. This dog was gonna die, without a doubt. That day, in the heat, she would have died of dehydration. Her legs were very stiff. She would move her eyes, but she couldn't lift her head. Her pupils were uneven, which would go along with some type of head trauma or some type of damage to um, her brain. But it turns out Glinda's brain was working pretty well. She had some signs that showed we could help her. She would eat, it was amazing. You'd have to put it right in front of her mouth, but she would grab it with her tongue and move her mouth just a little and she would, she would eat. She never had a bad appetite. 
She was here about four days and she was lifting her head, which was a huge advancement for her. And all the time, she's, she's very cute and, and she's just very lovable and you can just tell there's a spirit in her. It wasn't long before Glinda was standing and walking on her own. A few weeks later, she's a poster pooch for the wonderful work that goes on every day at Best Friends. She is a cool dog. She's very, very sweet and very loving. People cared enough to bring her here, and we cared enough to take care of her, and those situations keep me coming to work. They give us so much, dogs, cats, and all our pets, but so many are being put to death just for being homeless. Millions are killed every year. You can help change all that. Become a Best Friends Guardian Angel by giving $20 a month. You'll be helping feed and care for abandoned, abused, sick, and injured animals. And you'll help those pets find happy homes, too. Just pick up the phone or go online right now. One day, we're not going to see any more animals put to sleep needlessly. This is not a small vision. It's a huge vision. Only $20 a month is going to make a hell of a difference. And think of it that way. That's cutting out one grande latte a week. That's all it takes. You see it at the sanctuary. You see it at the adoptions that they are making a huge difference. So you can trust that uh, your money's well spent. You'll be making a big difference. With your help, thousands of sweet, playful, loving animals get a second chance at life. Your gift of $20 each month is a promise that they'll get food, shelter, medical care, even surgeries, whatever they need. And when disasters strike, hurricanes, earthquakes, any emergency, you'll help best friends be there to save animals' lives. There's so much work that guardian angels make possible. Spay-neuter clinics, training for rescuers, life-saving surgeries, rehab of all kinds. You'll also see your generosity at work. Every month you'll get the photo and story of an animal you're helping. And you'll get six issues, a year's subscription to Best Friends Magazine, number one among animal lovers. When you donate, you get this magazine that's so fantastic and telling you so much about what's going on all over the world in terms of, you know, animals. I have 100% trust because the people there aren't there doing a job. They really care about the animals. Best Friends makes the people like me feel like I'm doing as much as they are. It makes a better world to know that uh, Best Friends is out there saving animals. There's so much bad news on TV and the radio every day, but here's something that we can really all feel good about because uh, doing good for the animals is something that brings us all together. And I think that matters very much in the times that we live in today. Guardian angels like you help us make a lifetime commitment to every animal we save. That means a new home and family, or a place here at the sanctuary, forever. Your gift of $20 a month will make miracles possible. Any amount will help. Have your credit card ready and call now, or go online and become a guardian angel. Give these big-hearted souls lives of hope and love today. Hurricane Katrina devastated the Gulf Coast. It destroyed homes and lives. It was just so sad for so many people. I mean, thousands of people who'd been told to evacuate the city and to leave their pets behind, and they were just devastated by this. Best Friends was on the scene within 24 hours. Soon, they found themselves leading the greatest animal rescue effort since Noah. We had 78,000 emails that came into Best Friends and 10,000 phone calls from people asking for help. A lot of these people, all they're going out with is a shirt on their back and many of them with the hope that they'll be reunited with their family. And some of these, for many of these, the only family they've got left is their pet. Left to fend for themselves, hungry and with no one to look after them, many animals died in the flooded streets. Still, many of these loyal pets kept watch over their homes and fought to survive. Our teams of rescuers were going around in boats and they were whistling or barking or calling to the dogs and then you'd hear a little whimper come back and you'd come across this big dog who was perched on the top of a car and the dog would then jump off into the boat and you'd go off after the next one. Best friends posted photos and descriptions of animals on the internet. 
Thousands of friends and shelters across the country pitched in to help every abandoned pet left behind find their people. People saw everywhere, people who were watching all of this unfolding on TV, they realized just how much animals mean to people. And in fact, people in Congress were so touched by this that both houses of Congress quickly passed a bill which requires the government to take pets into account in any catastrophe from now on. Bubba the cat was one of the lucky ones. Scared and alone, he was soon reunited with Bart Siegel, his only family. Siegel had been evacuated to Dallas, but without a second of hesitation, Bart drove 10 hours overnight to pick up his beloved cat. We were delighted most of all to be able to do the reunions. Many of the dogs and cats were reunited with their families, and to be reunited again with their little dog or cat. So many of them said, I'd lost everything, but I've got my little dog back, so I haven't lost anything at all. The rescue was a massive undertaking. Thousands of volunteer hours, logistics, supplies, temporary shelters, veterinary care, a giant act of love. We built two rescue centers for all the animals, brought out a total of 6,000 animals and placed them in good new homes around the country. And the very last few of them, that's about a dozen of them, are here actually at the sanctuary getting special care for their very special needs that they have. With the help of friends like you, Best Friends Rapid Response Team can always be ready to save animals right when they're in the greatest danger. All the good that we do comes back around. It's part of the old famous golden rule uh, that as we give, so do we receive. And everybody who does good for an animal in distress, well, if you've ever done that, you know that it makes you feel just so much better. I wish you could visit Best Friends Animal Sanctuary and see all the special animals here. It's hard not to fall in love with them and just want to take them home. That's why it's good to know that Best Friends works hard to ensure that all the animals who come through the sanctuary get new homes and families. And for those who might need more care and attention, they can count on having a home here forever, no matter what. When Best Friends started more than 20 years ago, 17 million animals a year were being killed in shelters. Today, it's about a quarter of that, around four million. It's still way too many. There is no reason even one animal should pay with her life just for being unwanted. Pick up the phone or go online and help save the lives of these beautiful spirits. Be their guardian angel. Call now. What do you do with a pot-bellied pig who's let himself go? Whose weight is so out of control that it covers his eyes? whose tusks are so wild they cut into his face. You invite him to the Best Friends Health Spa, of course. The people who got Metro as a cute little piglet saw his weight balloon over time until they just couldn't care for him anymore. Lucky for him, Best Friends will give him all the attention he needs, an improved diet, and a full body makeover. For starters, a little visit to the Best Friends Dentist. He's got really long tusks, longer than I want to grind down. So we're going to first cut them off, and then we'll put on a grinding wheel and smooth them over a little bit. Well, I guess he's out pretty good. You can see here on his cheek, he's starting to get a little sore there. That's from where his tusk was coming out and growing into his face. That's why we, we trim him, not because we don't like tusks, but they can grow right into their face and cause a lot of problems. Now sporting his new smile, Metro's ready for the tail of the tape measure. This is how they approximate his weight without a scale. Well, it's the heart girth. According to this, he's 350. He's not quite what I'd call svelte. Perhaps a little workout? Maybe some cardio would be nice. For animals like Metro, Best Friends has a lot of love, patience, and a great health plan. We've started him on a bunch of fresh vegetables and um, multiple meals to try and boost his metabolism, very small little meals. A lot of roughage, a lot of bulk, but not a lot of calories. Next, Metro enjoys a relaxing hoof cure Nothing like a little time at the best friend's spa to make a new pig out of him. 
So that's it for Metro's makeover. Now for the mud bath. One of the animals found in the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina was Hobo. Abandoned, hungry, and half wild with fear, Hobo was beat up and he was aggressive. When Hobo arrived here, we pulled him out of the back of a van with about eight other dogs. He was a pretty sad looking little dog. His coat was pretty rough. His hair was not nearly as filled in as it is now. So he looked like he'd had a pretty rough go of it. People approached him pretty carefully. <coughs> One of the things that we tend to do when we get a dog and we know there clearly has been some trauma in their life, we cut a dog a lot of slack because we don't expect them to respond to us the way other dogs might. Hobo had been living on the streets, fighting to stay alive. He'd learned that surviving in a wasteland takes a big dog attitude. He uh, can be vicious when you're standing outside the fence and he can charge you sometimes if you go in to feed him or give him water, but he does, you know, trust some people and so he gets some attention and he gets to go out. He's improved a lot because I didn't pet him for, gosh, probably a few months before, before I got the nerve to pet him, you know. It takes time and a lot of patience to break through to a dog like Hobo. Trust from animals or people can't be earned overnight. And as Hobo develops trust, he's making friends one at a time. Good boy. I was sitting on the ground with him and he approached me and I was terrified. I didn't know what he was going to do. And he just looked at me, he kind of grinned with his little open mouth and he plopped right down on my lap. And I was so terrified. But he just wanted love. It was great. It was a really cool breakthrough for him. It's really obvious to me that had he not come to Best Friends, his behavior would have resulted in him being put down. Hobo is a sign of hope, and our hope that we can help things get better, and that he will be able to have the lives that he's capable of. Oh, he's a good boy. Yeah. He's getting happy. He's getting happy. Hobo is a work in progress, aren't you? You're a good boy. You're a work in progress. Dogs love coming here to Towers Run Training Center to play on the agility course. Plus, this is an important learning place for dogs who are afraid of stairs or who won't go through a doorway because they used to get punished for it. Best Friends just thinks of everything. They are saving animals everywhere with a nationwide network of no-kill shelters, rescue groups, and friends. Best Friends Rapid Response Team saved over 6,000 animals after Hurricane Katrina. Whatever the emergency, large or small, they are ready to go. The Veterinarian Surgical Center is a world-class training ground for veterinarians and caregivers here. Everything Best Friends learns, and it's a lot, they share with other animal rescuers and animal lovers. They even have a great program for kids. So when you call to be a guardian angel, you are helping to save animals in your neighborhood and across the country. Please call right now. None of the animals who comes to Best Friends is ever uh, put down, euthanized, just to make room for the next one. Um, it's an absolute commitment that we have that every dog or cat or other animal who comes to Best Friends has a home for life. This is a lifetime commitment. If you ever had any doubts about the power of an animal to change lives, you need to meet Dermot. He came to the sanctuary from a pet adoption group in L.A. They just couldn't find a home for him. He had severe hip dysplasia. His knees were malaligned so that they couldn't bend, and, and they were ligaments were being stretched um, beyond use. Best Friends was his only chance. 
He had multiple surgeries done. Knees repaired such that they were more in alignment so they could function more properly. He had hip surgery done to decrease any pain in his hips. He then went through hydrotherapy to develop strength. After months of treatment, Dermot was finally ready for a loving family to take him home. We have a special appearance today for the last time. And he is Dermot. Uh, he has been adopted and is now ready to go off out of the Guardian Angel program to his new home. In an airport in Tennessee, two happy, excited sisters waited for Dermot. We got a little name tag. It's got bling on it. Yeah, Derby's got bling. It says Mr. Dermot. We made up Dermot songs and we talked about <laughs> Dermot and emailed back and forth about Dermot every day, all the time. I mean, it was, <laughs> we had a little Dermot obsession going on. Aaron and Amy gave him a rock star welcome. Oh, there he is. Oh, there goes the tail. <laughs> Did you have a big day, honey? Did you have a big day? <laughs> He's bigger than life kind of guy. I guess he kind of radiates this strength and life. Nothing was going to get him down, and you just, it was impossible to be sad if you were with Dermot. That dog would smile at you <laughs> all the time, you know? And it was just such a comforting thing to even just be around him or, you know? So, I mean, immediately it was part of the family. But just three weeks from the happy day Dermot arrived, everything changed in an instant. We went for a ride in the car, because he loved to ride in the car, <laughs> and came home, and um, I fed him. Then I gave him you know, his water and took him outside. And we were just outside for, it was only like 30 seconds, and he'd just fallen on the ground. And so I, I got over there to get him. And um, I could tell something was wrong and his mouth kind of turned to blue and I just, I tried to do, you know, CPR and stuff. But there wasn't anything that could be done. Dermot's heart had given up. It's just the most helpless feeling in the world not to be able to do something for this dog that you'd do anything for. Dermot was laid to rest at Best Friends. He will always be remembered and loved because it's not a matter of how long you live, but how well. Hey, Derm Derm. And Dermot's story doesn't end here. His spirit had touched Aaron and Amy in ways they never expected. With Dermot's memory driving them, the two sisters had to do something. They had to help another. But there is just one slight problem. One dog can't fill the shoes. <laughs> <No. laughs> so, so I had to, I had to pick three of them. <laughs> That's right. Erin went back to Best Friends where she found scruffy little Delgado, Truffle, and Howie the Beagle. And for good measure, Amy chose a fourth dog. I'm getting buff. The Dalmatian, kind of reminiscent of Dermot. I was like nervous. I think that's their man. That's what the I. The girls thinking. could hardly wait to meet their new best friends. <laughs> Hi, Buffy. How are you? Hi, <laughs> Hi. In his short time, Dermot had opened the door for more animals and people to share their love. I don't know of another organization that does that much for, you know, animals of every kind and, you know, of every need. I mean, I'm just so thankful to be a part of it. It's changed my life. I know it's changed yeah. Aaron's life. And, I mean, it's the most rewarding thing I feel like I've ever done. Thank, Thank you, you so much, best <laughs> Thank friends. Thank you, best friends. We this is, love you. Yeah, we do. And all our new friends here. Thank this is you. An incredible for everything. day. Yeah. <laughs> they give us so much dogs, cats, and all our pets. 
But so many are being put to death just for being homeless. Millions are killed every year. You can help change all that. Become a Best Friends Guardian Angel by giving $20 a month. You'll be helping feed and care for abandoned, abused, sick, and injured animals. And you'll help those pets find happy homes, too. Just pick up the phone or go online right now. If animals are your passion, Best Friends. Best Friends is the place to put that passion to work. $20 a month is not a lot when you think of how much you throw away on a cup of coffee for $4 or $5. I can be a guardian angel. That's a powerful experience. And I believe in best friends doing an amazing job, and I have seen them in action. You'll be making a big difference. With your help, thousands of sweet, playful, loving animals get a second chance at life. Your gift of $20 each month is a promise that they'll get food, shelter, medical care, even surgeries, whatever they need. And when disasters strike, hurricanes, earthquakes, any emergency, you'll help best friends be there to save animals' lives. There's so much work that guardian angels make possible. Spay-neuter clinics, training for rescuers, life-saving surgeries, rehab of all kinds. You'll also see your generosity at work. Every month you'll get the photo and story of an animal you're helping. And you'll get six issues, a year's subscription to Best Friends Magazine, number one among animal lovers. You can actually go to their website, you can see where the money is allocated, all the things that they're involved in. It's very easy to see what they're accomplishing. I trust that my $20 goes towards the well-being of these animals. They are absolutely proven, proven, proven organization. What I get out of donating to Best Friends is uh, just a warm, good feeling knowing that we're helping. We're very happy that we can guarantee that every dollar that comes in out of this uh, TV program, in fact, will go to care for the animals coming into the sanctuary or in our rescue and adoption programs around the country. And that means you're making a really big difference. Guardian angels like you help us make a lifetime commitment to every animal we save. That means a new home and family, or a place here at the sanctuary, forever. Your gift of $20 a month will make miracles possible. Any amount will help. Have your credit card ready and call now, or go online and become a guardian angel. Give these big-hearted souls lives of hope and love today. Wasn't it great to meet some of the special animals at Best Friends? Can you imagine even one of those animals being killed just because they haven't found the right people to love them? I was first introduced to Best Friends about nine years ago. I really connected to what they're doing. In fact, I rescued all of my own animals, three dogs, Wolfie, Bumpa, and Sandwich, and two cats, Bug and Rodent, as well as a slew of other animals that went through my home to get somewhere else. When I think about them not getting their second chance, I can't even think about it. Best Friends is building a better world for all of us by giving us the chance to offer kindness to animals. Thank you for joining us, and don't forget that you can help change the world with one simple act, sharing your love with animals who need you so much. Please call and be a Best Friends Guardian Angel today. The preceding program was sponsored by Best Friends Animal Society.